With this series of conference, we're trying to achieve a dialogue between philanthropies and academics and bilateral institutions, multilateral institutions, uh, policymakers at national levels, implementing partners, to engage them in this conversation of call for philanthropies to take a responsibility in the education sector as well. With the sustainable development goals and the high-level meetings that have been happening, there's an um, call to engage with philanthropies. However, we don't really know what that means. There's uh, what's come out in the symposium itself is that there's a multitude of definitions and typologies that we still need to develop to understand what philanthropies are and then to understand how they really engage in education. So right now is the timely, um, it's very timely to have a conversation like this. We're starting with this inaugural symposium where a lot of global trends came out, diverse perspectives came out, which was the purpose of this particular uh, conference. And we're hoping to do this more in the regions and start getting into the action of engaging philanthropies in education in a socially responsible way. Innovative financing is a fascinating topic in development in general. The idea started off in the early 2000s and picked up more and more in the education, uh, sorry, in the health and environmental science uh, climate change sector. However, it caught the attention of a few within the education sector on the ability to unlock huge sums of monies from the private markets or from new philanthropic players. However, it, it's an issue that still has it, is in very nascent stages within the education sector. There's some experiments going on, some proof of concepts going on, but majority of the innovative financing mechanisms that people have thought of are still in conceptualization phase. Uh, with the Education Commission's report, the Learning Generation report, there was another call in there to really use innovative financing to meet the financial gap within the education sector. And now that has uh, prolifer uh, proliferated all these conversations around innovative financing. It's become a catchphrase. However, there's very little understanding of what that really means, what the cautions and challenges are when we are applying that to the education sector. So with my presentation here, I delved deep into one type or one grouping of innovative financing, which uses in some manner the private, private capital market or a combination of financial and social returns to create mechanisms to bring in more money to education. However, I tried to problematize this issue itself and made a call for people to debate this issue more, do more research, and really try and understand if and when we should be using these models within the education sector.